I wonder if they're in there. Well, oh well, I'm going in my room. Is it nice? So of excited. course it is. I love this I room. Love the I love the ship, and the I'm ship. so excited. Oh I know Dad make, keeps making comments about there not being anything to do, but this is a smaller ship, and smaller ships don't have as many inter activities that you can go attend, like water slides and flow riders and ice skating. And that would be doing that anyway. Right, <laughs> but then they have a lot of fun activities. Especially the ship. Some I'm of them okay. are the funnest. I specifically had requested an adjoining room because apparently they have like four sets of adjoining rooms in this entire ship. And so I was really looking forward to that. And then I, that's why I said no, because there's no door. Oh. But then way back there behind the chair, I saw the door and that's weird. The non-adjoining room, we had a balcony, had a couch. The couch. See? Oh, we did! Yeah! Which is funny because Minara sits Wait, in her bed and I sit in the chair. I hear Dad. Hey! The um, room steward has to open your door for you guys, FYI. And we're also going to ask him to open this divider outside. Look at that, it looks like a horror movie. Do that again! I'm gonna go up there and see how they like the room. But here's our room. If you guys want to see a detailed tour, all the cabinet spaces, the bathroom, everything, then go to our um, other videos, go to our playlist and click on cabin tours and you'll see one for the Fathom Adonia. Let's go next door. I'm glad the beds are already separated. This is so fun, you guys. We're gonna fill this out. Dad and Zara's gonna fill theirs out. And there's a Sharpie in there. We're gonna fill ours out. I haven't even thought about it yet because I just wanted everything to be spontaneous. Hey! Room service, no. Well, how do you like it? Well, I'm it's used to a little? handicapped bathroom and shower, which is about the size okay, of this Okay, let room. me in. <laughs> Dad, this is not a little cabin. Wait till you go in the it Royal Princess. To what you get when you're handicapped. Fine, but I want you to look at this room and wait till you go in the Royal Princess next month. That's a little balcony cabin and a I little balcony. But it's a nice room, huh? We didn't get someone to open that. Yeah, yep. and, and the other one out there. The room steward will do it. Did you go on your balcony yet? That's the best thing about handicap. Happy birthday. The bathroom's this size and the shower was half this size. Yeah, mom had her electric wheelchair and so a lot of times you, ha I mean actually, all the times you have to get a handicap room if you have an electric wheelchair because it's like against fire hazards, um, against fire regulations leave in the hallway. Okay, that's a really easy door. He just has to get the hang of it. Oh, I'm so glad that dad's here and I hope he really loves this ship. Well, I'm gonna go, uh, Unpack, I guess, while we have time, and look at my little paper. Now I'm gonna practice card tricks. You do that, birthday boy. Did you notice that we had a chair instead of a couch this time? In the other balcony room we had on the ship, it had an actual couch that filled up the space because there wasn't a door. Interesting, huh? So we see the room steward will ask him, so you can go to the bathroom and stuff, you guys. Okay, you guys, so our room steward just came in here. Her name is Sherland. She's really nice. She's so nice. She said she's on the ship for 10 months. 10 months, that's, a long, that's like a long time to yeah. be away from everything, isn't it? She asked how old the kids were, and uh, or how many well, old no, she asked was. how old your sister. Oh yeah, she's like, oh you guys your sisters? And I'm like, oh. no, and of course me, I'm like, oh that's so sweet, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> but um, no, I was like, no, that's my daughter. <laughs> she's like, and that's your husband? Everybody says that because they have the same last name, they just think yeah. husband. I'm like, no, that's my dad, <laughs> their grandpa. But she says she has a six-year-old that she misses because she's going away for 10 months and she has two more months? Two more months, yeah, no, November, yeah. Yeah. And then she's off for two months and then she'll come back, I guess. Yeah. This room is so clean feeling. It's so clean. And smelling. The whole ship is nice. And it is. Everyone on it and everything, I love, just love the ship so much. It's true. Like, seriously, I love it. When you go in a room, sometimes you can smell, I like if it doesn't smell it, clean. It's just weird, but sometimes it just feels, feels dirty. dirty, okay? It's just like... <laughs> It's hard to explain, it's true. but it's true. It's really true. It's so true. Sometimes it just feels dirty. But everything, like, I was looking around and everything looks really clean. And yeah. I like it a lot. It smells clean. New. And um, we have our little papers like there. That. Here is our key card. It's very simple, yet... Uh, no. It's, it's nothing. It's just simple. That's it. It's very simple. <laughs> So plain. <laughs> oh my god. You can hook up your credit card to it to use on board. Um, I picked this up from downstairs. I think you guys saw there are people standing around. You can kind of sign up for impact activities. We already signed up for the, I'm so excited for this, cacao. Did you say it? Chocolate. Mm -hmm. 
We signed up for our last cruise on this ship, which once again, you guys can go to the playlist and click on Fathom Edonia, or you can go to seacruisersvlogs.com and click wow. on the Fathom ship and it'll like link the vlogs all in order there. But uh, we signed up for that online, so we're gonna have that. Let me see, let me see how cool so, birthday boy. So, so you see I don't know how, one. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The king of heart You're gonna do, wow. That's faster than the speed of my eye. I don't even know how you do that. I tried, I'm very bad at it. You guys wanna see some magic tricks from him later? He's really good. But you're not supposed to record magic tricks, isn't they composite and they can see what you're doing. You know that? Um, that's how I learn all mine is from you too. Fine, we'll let Zara show you some stuff. Um, you guys, it's 2.45, a lifeboat is at 3.45. And I should unpack right now, but I don't wanna. I'm gonna pa unpack tonight, you wanna unpack tonight? She said they're gonna yeah. open this door later. I don't know. I like unpacking, it's fun. You want to unpack now then? Let's unpack now. Yeah. Why She's going to open this door later. In the meantime, how do we work this thing up as yeah. unlock? I haven't been on my balcony, believe it or not. Shut that. Here's our nice seats. Nice little table there. She says they can open this divider in between our rooms, but only during port days. So since we'll be sitting in Dominican Republic for four days, they'll open it when we get there. But at sea days, they have to keep it shut so it doesn't flap and bang around. Here's our view. There's the Norwegian. What did I say it was? Get away? Break away? I don't remember. <laughs> so pretty. It's a nice day. Chocolate. I broke my jeans. I was messing with it. It just came off and now. <laughs> ha! LOL. Oopsies. Did you unpack, honey? Yes, oh, you're I doing a new trick? In these two seconds that I was you talking to Zar because he's been in his room. No. Mm, bad. Take a card, any card. Can okay. I get it? Yes, you can. I like it. Memorize Let me see it. it please. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me yeah, show it to the camp. Okay. So, I'm going to make three piles pile one, pile two, pile three. So, you can place it on any pile that you'd like, Manara. Try to mark it down so I don't forget. One second. Okay. Don't mark it down next. I don't want to read it. <laughs> yeah, like, we always end up forgetting the cards by the end. Like, any pile? Yep, any pile. That one. Alright, now we're going to give them all a little bit of a cut, right? See, that's where I'd be lost because he just mixed them up. He just took that card and put it in the middle of some pile. And how do you know where the middle is exactly? They all look alike. Hmm? Best tricks. Yeah, best, best tricks, baby. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these cards, all right? Yeah. I'm going to make a bunch of different piles. So now I'm going to come, I'm going to put all these piles together, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to open Now I'm just royally confused. <sighs> Same. All right. <laughs> I cannot don't do worry. this, I don't think. So is this your card, Matt? No. no. Okay. You already so knew that, didn't you? Thought. He does this to get you. So he knows guys, it's not your card. Now, I'm going to switch the deck to a thing that will spell it out with your card, okay? So let me snap my fingers. No. -uh. Alright. There's so no way you can do that. A, uh, queen, right? Queen? No. No? Okay. So, let me get this straight. So, is it a J A C K O M S? He did it on purpose. P A D E S. No way! Okay, that's awesome. I have no clue how you did that. And you were joking about the queen thing. You knew it wasn't a queen. I know. He does that. That's no, awesome. No, the magic told me it was. Happy birthday, Zar. Thank you. Love you. I know a lot more, by the way. I'm when you're gonna show us a lot of Applause. it. Applause. Okay. Remember how it said? What did it say on my phone earlier? That weird thing. Medley. Something medley. Weird. medley. medley. Now medley. look what it says. I'm Bert. Did someone mess with this and make it do weird things? So it's uh, 317 and dad came up here after he got ready and look, I smell Zara's chicken. This is where, hi, they have that, what is it like, um, kind of Caribbean spice chicken, is that what it is? It's kind of like barbecue-y, but a little spicy. See if you guys find dad anywhere. Mustard drill is in 30 minutes and then the ship leaves at in an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. And I don't see too many people on here. <laughs> it's the first time we've been out of our room since we went into our room. That pool looks real nice, Minara. If it looks good and clean, I might just get in it, just so you know. 
We'll have to do a little it inspection. Looks really nice. It does. The last time it didn't seem very clean, but this time it looks clean. Yeah. Probably because no one's like been on the ship. <laughs> That's true. Grandpa on the loose. Grandpa on the loose. <laughs> Attention, Grandpa on the loose. Have you I... seen this man? <laughs> so you didn't find out, but you found a roll and some roll, fries. And I found some fries, and I'm on a quest for something to drink. Where in the heck is he? Stole him. We did the whole loop of this deck here. I know he's not really outside because he doesn't like the sun. See, the thing with the ship is so small. You go, I don't know, how, I mean, you go up and down the stairs, you all around, and it's, you know, it's a lot of walking, but it's, it's not that walking. much. It's, it's kind of feels like you're just going around like a hotel or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like everything's there. Everything's where it needs to, you know. Yeah. If it, I was like, what is that? Oh, it's a sunglass thing. If it's a really big ship, then if you, even if you had to just walk across your room to the other end of the ship, <laughs> it's like an hour of walking. To From mid-ship to yeah, one exactly. side? exactly. It's huge ships. I like how Hard. this is just so easy to go up into the ship. It kind of reminds me, it's like being in a mansion. Yeah, there and then you, you, get used no, to, you get used to everything in the ship, so you kind of just like know everything is on the Yeah, like you just go there really quickly. Grandpa. And being here twice is awesome because yeah. we're so familiar with everything. We no time wasted looking oh, at yeah. it at all. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's awesome. Eight, yeah, we're gonna go back to our rooms again. We've already been down there looking for dad two times. We've been up and around the entire ship at least two times. Did he pull overboard? I hope not. Mustard drill's about to start. I don't know what to do. So yeah, we're missing dad and we don't know where he is at all. But I mean, I mean we went to the library, we went to the buffet. Is he in there? No. Are you kidding? He's dad. really not? Dad? We went to the buffet, the library, the oh, card room, okay? the top deck, the middle deck, oh, deck guy, five. He found himself a lady friend. <gasps> he said he was going to go look at the wrinkles. wrinkles. I hate to say that, but now he's like, I'm going to go upstairs to the pool deck and look at the wrinkles. Look. And he winked at me when he said that too. Look guys, my dad has dry humor. And then he also has a kind of perverted sense of humor. And he's weird-ish like we are too sometimes. You can see where you get it from too, but you couldn't have met our mom. Our mom says go cruising awesome. with us and you guys were supposed to meet our mom. <sighs> but anyway, please, coming, don't oh. let my dad offend you guys, just people- Don't be triggered! Trigger people. warning! Trigger warning! One place I can imagine you went is to the mustard suit because there's only one life jacket. He probably went to the mustard suit. Oh. Dining room. 45 I'm minutes ago? I'm sorry, yeah. he's gonna, he's gonna have to, um, attend, so attend. we'll so have to meet him yeah. there. Okay, listen Unless guys. Unless he's like hiding like- How do I say this? I know that people get offended by things that they find offensive. But every person is different and has their own beliefs and their own, and some people say things they shouldn't or say things without thinking. And it's just the way that person is. And my dad doesn't go in pub public much. See, my public. dad says things like public on purpose. He says he goes to Publix instead, instead of public. public. And, and Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, and what does he say for battery? Battery. Battery. He says these things on purpose. He's just goofy. And He's anyway, I hope that he doesn't offend any of you guys watching this. He, he likes being offended. He does. He gets a kick out of being like that, I think. And so the thing is, is that watch these videos because the vlog is going to be super fun. I know it is. And appreciate it for what he is, which is our weird dad. How's and that? Mean offenses, my weird dad. Was he's not weird a dad. mean person, though. No, he's all. not. He's, he's super sweet. You're right. He just thinks it's funny. And yeah. Him. And I know you guys might not think it's funny saying things about people. Old people. But He's an old person, so he can talk He's about other too. old yeah. people like, like that. So this time we're in the there dining room. Where? There they are. <laughs> you said you're going to the pool deck. You're going to the pool deck, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, yeah the Pacific Restaurant pool deck. This is this is totally the pool deck. So when Minara, we couldn't find you. She says that maybe you met a lady friend. Yeah. No, I haven't seen any yet. <laughs> The general emergency signal is not a signal to abandon ship. If you hear this signal at any time, including when the ship is in port, without having been warned that an exercise is taking place, you should go to your cabin, collect your life jackets, warm clothing, a head covering, and any medication that you normally use, and carrying your life jacket, go to the muster station, which is specified on the safety notice. Do you remember how to do that, Minara? <laughs> You might not want to use the whistle though, he said, because it might have been used before. Oh, really? <laughs> in the event of emergency. Like and you're not going to care. It won't matter. <laughs> Just so you know, there's plenty of room if you're big. Look, I have this much room left. So these lifeboats might really fit everybody almost. <laughs> if you can fit on this ship. You... Do that. <laughs> oh. 
traditional. Put <laughs> <laughs> your blankers on. Oh my god. That movie's from Click? Is that what it's called? The remote control? And the lady's like. I think so. She said to sit down. Oh. He, he likes standing very much. <laughs> okay, let's go. He says, sit down with your life jacket on. He's like, okay, now you can leave. It's like. <gasps> Cat! I've been thoroughly mustered. It sounds really gross. I forgot how deep in depth and detail they get on the ship about safety hazards, which is really good, actually. Yeah, it is. They were dazzling. There's people no point in walking the other end of the ship to get in the elevator. The I saw three people around me asleep. falling asleep. Yes. No, they were like totally asleep. I think most of the people on the ship has been on it before. Every, like almost everyone I've heard. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been on it. Oh, well, they're talking about what they did last time. Yeah, it's because it's an awesome ship. It and is. It's like, if it's one ship, you want to go on again. It's That's true. One. And wouldn't it be cool since they know there's a lot of repeat people to have like a past guest meet, yeah, get, get together? together. They have, like, little That'd be fun. I was like, bleach out here. Superpower, adorable, spirit animal, deplorable, someday President Trump. Oh my god. <laughs> Love will reign over hate. Oh, and they just flush their toilet. Because they hate their poo poo.